hand planes, they're time savers. You don't think of them like that, but they save me time. Uh, and, and once you learn how to sharpen them, and you have a good hand plane, they will be time savers. But, so, those are the five hand planes I think you need, okay? Two bench planes, a block plane, preferably a low angle block plane, mm -hmm. a spoke shave, and a joinery style. Shoulder plane, bull nose plane. Um, here's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No one uses a one. Your grandchildren might be able to use a two. I use a three, there's a four, and then all hell breaks loose. Because there's a four and a half, there's a five, there's a five and a half, there's a five and a quarter, there's a six, there's a seven, and there's an eight. And then the numbers go all haywire from there. So, a number four, this is called a bench plane. This is a bench plane. So, pardon. So we get that kind of action, and you're, we're getting some chip breaker action. This is a coffin style hand plane, based on the shape. Um, light as a feather, really. They're really super light. Um, but look at the blade. Something's going on here. Something's going on because that blade is thicker. Mm -hmm. So the wedge, the most important shape in the shop. If you understand the power of the wedge, every tool is one, including sampling. Pushes you into the cut. So you have to control that a little bit better or flip it over in order to get a, a more controlled cut. So how are you adjusting? So when you get a new plane, it's worth it to just take it apart and see what you've got in it. You get what you pay for uh, all the way down the line when you're buying new. Um, so you'll want to spend an hour, get some lubricant in there. Now with that high spot in the center there, you just gotta make sure you're working just right. 